This is Steelers TV. He may look like a bank robber tonight. He robbed two points off the Coventry Blaze with some astounding saves. This is Jody Newman. How well did you play tonight, Jody? Uh, I don't know. I felt the pressure tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. I was a little, little bit nervous in the first period. And, uh, sometimes it's good. It makes you, uh, makes you uh, think a little bit harder and, uh, you know, maybe uh, bear down a bit more. And, uh, you know, the guys worked hard in front of me. We killed penalties, it seemed like, all night. And the credit uh, goes to those guys that killed penalties. And I think that was a big key in the s our s success to win tonight. So, How hard for you was it not to get rattled? Because you knew every time they were coming into the zone, somebody was going to come and try and make contact well, with Well, I know Tom says that, absolutely. They're going to bump me. And, uh, you know, if I'm a coach and a goalie's playing well, I'm going to bump that goalie or get in his face. And they did that. And... Uh, you know, as a goalie, you got to take it and suck it up, and you can't let it bother you. They, I mean, they scored after I got hit, but you know, you got to you got to put it on the back burner, and uh, you know, you got to stay focused. What was the best save tonight? I don't know. I, obviously, the dive across was pretty good. It was, uh, you know, to me, it, it was a slow motion. I, I am so focused that uh, I seen the puck the whole way and read the play and. Luckily, the guy just shot it in my glove. I'm sure he had the whole net there, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't think that I'm going to get across. So, you know, a little luck, maybe luck's on the side, and you know, maybe that's just being a positive attitude and things go your way. And uh, you know, that's it's huge. And my job is to keep the puck out of the net and try to win a championship. And that's what you know, us as a team, we're trying to do. Is it extra special for you coming back and putting in that performance in this kind of game here in Coventry? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I said it all along. I mean, for me, it's easier to play under pressure than it is to play earlier in the season when games don't really mean that much. And you know, it's easy for for me. It's easy to get up for the games, and uh, you know, it's easy to prepare. And uh, you know, I, I like it. It's a challenge, and it, you know, it's fun. And you know, I'm, I, everything I do is based on winning, and the way I look back on a season and stuff, and maybe my career and. You know, that's that's what drives me. So, uh, you know, uh, the guys are playing hard in front of me, and all season long have made my job uh, that much easier. And you know, it gives me confidence in there. Are you enjoying it right now? Yeah, I am absolutely. And uh, you know, all these tight games, uh, you know, they bring the best out. And uh, you know, you you got to dig deep, and uh, you always got to you know try to find something a little extra. And uh, you know. I, it's, it's a great feeling when you do come up with two points and you, you do make some big saves and it's a great feeling you know the guys pat you on the back and say hey great job you know how did you make that save it's an awesome feeling to play in front of these guys got a bit of help tonight from mark thomas as well big save i thought that was a bigger save than my uh <laughs> dive across so uh, a lot of credit to him he's been playing great and you know uh, he, he's like an unsung hero out there he plays well back there how are you right now mentally within that locker room because we all know that you like to say your piece, we all know that you feel things should be done a certain way and when things aren't you'll say a lot. How are you in the locker room right now? Oh, pretty good. I, I mean, are you vocal? I, I, well, I'm always vocal. <laughs> uh, I, you know what, when I got something on my chest it's said and uh, I have to get it off and I know guys kind of say sometimes he, you know, he's, you know, he's bitching or if he's, uh, you know, he, but it's just the way I am and uh, I have to you know, I, I definitely have to acknowledge things that I think that need to be, you know, corrected. And uh, but uh, you know, in the same regard, we still got to play our be positive and you know try not to get too negative and pick out the the bad things. But uh, no, I, I definitely uh, you know you try to keep guys calm, especially on a night like tonight. You try to keep them calm and, and focused and uh, to, just to stay within ourselves. Call the Carlson the Chatelet. But one goal against you all season long between them. Well, Calder had about 20 or 30 on me last year, so I think <laughs> I'm due to stop these guys. So he, uh, you know, he's a great friend, and uh, you know, he knows that uh, I've got his number this year. And you know, like I said before, I talk to the guys. It's easier to play when you're on top when you're at first, and uh, you know, I find that it's exciting and it's a challenge. It's different when you're chasing it when you're third or fourth. You know, you. Uh, you know, it's, it, it just makes things that much more special and much easier to play with. I remember sitting in the bar with you one afternoon and there was a phone call from a guy back in Canada and he was asking you, he got a contract offer from Coventry, and he was asking you about what Coventry was like. And you quick smart said, well hang on a second, I think you might be able to get an offer in Sheffield. That was Steve Mudd. Yeah, absolutely. What an addition he's been to this hockey club. Yeah. What kind of impact has he had 
on that blue line as he having in that locker room right now? Well, you know what, he, he, it's not like, you know, the guy plays hard every night, he's banged up and he finds a way, he fights his way through it and, you know, as a goalie, you want a D-man like him in front of you at all times through your whole career and uh, Steve is, uh, you know, he never complains, he, he get up, gets out there, if he's hurt or injured, you never know about it, he plays hard and, you know, he, he look what he's done to Calder and Carlson and the Chatelets. I mean, he's a big reason why them guys are off the score sheet. He's a he's a very valuable, valuable guy. And I knew as soon as he was interested in coming, I I, I had to we had to get him, and that was my number one focus. <laughs> and you're quite convincing when that you get that in your mind. Oh, absolutely. You know, he's a pleasure to have in front of me. It's there's just lots of confidence when he's on. The ice. What did you make of that little scrap right in front of you at the end? It's a, a, awesome. I thought that was the. I thought that was, on the top. Oh, it was awesome. You know what? He, he and he's got mad. He middle of the fight, he he looked mad and annoyed, and he took care of business. It was great to see. Brilliant. Well done tonight. Thanks. Congratulations Thanks, on the win. Seth. That's Jody Lehman, Sheffield Steelers goaltender, man of the match tonight as well. This is Steelers TV. Don't forget to check back soon as well. There'll be more preview stuff ahead of the weekend. Another big weekend for the Steelers. Two home games against first of all the Basingstoke Bison, and then another title clash against those Belfast Giants.